Hi Aquarius, welcome sweethearts to your reading. This is going to be a general for Aquarius Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. I'm going to light some Palo Santo and it is a very powerful time as we lead into the Lionsgate portal. I received the message that for the next three and a half days it is so imperative that we focus on the light. Not easy to do, it's part of the human condition. We got to worry about all these things and you know, but the message was to stay mindful, stay grounded work on energy cleansing and work on dreaming envisioning that utopian aquarian age that's a, it's like it's it's not easy to do but if anyone can do it aquarius can so yeah that's what that's what you're being asked to do so i had to get on here because i know i know how powerful aquarius you are and so you're really helping with the, the rising of the collective consciousness at this time. And of course, your own beautiful evolution and joy and love and, you know, everything. Oh, such abundance. Somebody is just like, I saw someone, one of you is like winning an award in the future. And you're just like, and uh, <laughs> just like, yeah, it's, it's so cool. Okay, darlings, let's, um, let's light some Palo Santo. We don't we don't have music we're just get we're just gonna the music here we go yeah we do have music let's turn some music on infinite forgiveness you know, love and light focusing on relaxation just cleansing the energy field protecting your energy really work with crystals at this time Aquarius you know sleep next to your crystal put it under your pillow protecting your energy field you can use crystals palo santo sacred sage the power of intention I'm noticing a blockage in the throat chakra and it's interesting because this particular lionscape portal is all about strengthening the throat chakra you're going to notice an amazing activation it is the I, I feel like you've got this like this confidence like this solar plexus right but there's going to be this ignition of the throat chakra where it's like suddenly the words start to flow easily some of you are increasing your vocabulary it's just gonna you're gonna wake up and you're gonna be like speaking Shakespearean <laughs> I go, where did that come from yeah it's like it's, it's really working with the um the infinite eight with the throat chakra where did it come from it's always been known it's like throughout timelines these are skills coming to you returning to you it's not going to be anything holding you back from the sacred love light and joy that is your birthright that is your your now experience yeah you're you're gonna be glowing you're gonna be beautiful oh my goodness Aquarius okay darlings let's draw some tarot and see what is going on we know spirit wants us to focus on the light i am really interested as to you know any of these new sort of like dream messages coming through for aquarius or anything that aquarius has to be aware of at this time let's see you've made a decision the energy is super quick too. Hold up a sec, guys. Amazing. <laughs> I haven't even flipped all the cards over yet. And I'm like, yes. Oh my gosh. Yes. Excuse me. <laughs> You've made a decision. There was a situation that was a little hazy, it was a little confusing, you were sort of waiting for an outside energy to sort of get, and you're just like, okay, <laughs> uh, let me make that decision. I'm going to celebrate my life. I'm going to enjoy being me. This is three of cups and you, you know, connecting with community, you being yourself. And really, this is like connecting with friends and family and those that you love and um it's joy it's the celebration of life it's like you've decided to enjoy life and it feels like this determination it's like yes some of you are like lifting like super heavy weights I'm like how are you doing that <laughs> four of cups you're focusing on your emotions and feelings as we go into 444 on the screen knowing that the angels are with you and just really dreaming in, you know, this is really you dreaming in that age of Aquarius in a very balanced way, you know, before, right? Finding that inner harmony and balance. We've got the emperor in reverse, huh? 
I'm sort of getting the feeling that there could have been this, in a way if it was relaxing, it was sort of like a break, it feels like they're sort of like, um, not forging ahead, but rather just sort of taking, taking a little bit of a rest, taking a little bit of um, time to, to gather intel, right? There was a situation that you may have felt, and I feel like it's to do with business situation, Aquarius, where it was like causing this confusion, and it, it's like it didn't eventuate or it didn't go ahead, because there was a new beginning that was coming in. <laughs> there was a new journey for you, right? And it's the world card bringing in newfound peace, where it's just like, it hits you, you're like, that's it, that's the answer. Five, five, five. That's the answer. An ending for change and transformation so that you can be balanced in these energies with these new opportunities that are coming away. I'm seeing lavender, lavender, very healing for you. Crown chakra activation, but it's like it's to do with this peace and, and calming, claiming, you know, the health and well being of your your energy system, your your vitality, that which lights you up, that which allows you to stand strong. Nine of Pentacles, darlings, this is um, enjoying the moment. You've decided to really enjoy the moment. And it's really noticing like all the things that you've done in life, like how amazing you are. You're like, it didn't matter if there's like some energy here that didn't notice your worth, you're like, I notice my worth, right? Nine of Pentacles. Aquarius, look at all you have achieved. You're not here to prove to anyone. You know who you are. You know what you've been through. You know what you've accomplished. And the angels know who you are too. So you are able to stand strong in your truth and to enjoy your moment, to enjoy your sacred body vessel. And there ain't nothing going to hold you back from the celebration of life. And the celebration of who you are. This is enjoying everything. You're not here to prove a thing. There's a brand new beginning that's come in for you. And this is because of the truth and the clarity that you have received. The Ace of Swords is hurrah. New beginning. One that is decisive. One that is true. With such clarity. Because you are you. You also got the Six of Swords walking away. You're not putting up a battle. You're not fighting for what wasn't yours to begin with. For something that's not worth fighting for. You walk away from it. Walking away from the battlefield. It's unimportant. You're walking towards your celebration. You're walking towards life itself. Towards your dream. The dream upon the dream upon the dream upon the dream. This is a pivotal time. Anyone seeing this message is a light warrior. 1000 percent, infinity percent. I promise you that you are. And so you are choosing, as we go through this Lionsgate portal, to focus on the light. Walk away from anything that was a battle. Walk away. Even if it's just for three and a half days, you're dropping the swords because you're focusing on the light. This is your Lion's Gate portal. This is your divine life and your divine path. Let's draw, I want to draw one more, you know, you walk away from this battle and then what, and then what spirit, tell us, tell us. Love. Two of Cups and the Eight of Cups. Not only is it love, it's infinite love. A love that goes on beyond time. In peace and harmony, grounded. Living a life that you can be proud of. A life of no regrets. A life of claiming your truth, your beautiful, unique self. The love that goes on. That's where you're headed, Aquarius. That's where you are. That's where you are right now. <laughs> oh 
Well, isn't that nice to know? You know? Living in truth as your authentic self and just living in love, being the love, sharing the love, sharing the light. Knowing that you live on and on the Eight of Cups. I'm seeing like a spiraling cosmos, stars. It's like you're the seer, you're the dreamer of the dream. All right, sweethearts, let's draw you a light oracle. Oracle. Play. <laughs> you really are celebrating. Double confirmation. It's time to have some fun. What can we do? Oh, what can we do? That's fun. I need some more fun myself. We need fun in here. I'll show you guys my crystal ball. That's fun, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to plug it in. I'm going to plug in it. Yeah, hold up. So I just love crystals so much. Yes, I do. Isn't that so cool? Can you see it? Can't really see it on there, can you? Um, it's that <laughs> clear crystal on a light. Um, I'll show you this one. The pink one looks so beautiful, guys. You see, yeah, it doesn't really show up, but it's so pink. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous, ma. I love it. I love it, eh? What else can we put on the light? Something that's fun, like a disco. We're gonna party! <laughs> yeah! Aquarius in the house. <laughs> I'm seeing bees. Like bee, it's like you're buzzing, Aquarius. I wonder if this owl lights up a little bit. It's pretty cool, huh? I love this. This is fluorite crystal for dreams and intuition. What a, what a dollar. This is my baby. This is this is mine. Yeah, well, that was fun. I got this one too, guys. But um, this was actually meant to be a lamp, and it does it does not light up. Um, because it, it's not it's not meant to. It's like it's amethyst. Um, so I was like, it's just it doesn't need a light. You know, it's just beautiful like that, right? That's amethyst with titanium and silver coating, also known as rainbow aura. Beautiful. So yeah, you're just gonna be celebrating life and doing all the things that you enjoy. All the things that light you up. Oh, <laughs> I look so spooky like this. Like, oh my gosh. Oh, guys, I just, okay. So when I was younger, I had this dream. Both my sister and I, sorry, I have to fix my nail. Both my sister and I, on the same night had the same freaking dream of a witch scratching us isn't that spooky as and i just remember like her long nails like she literally scratched me with her long nails and we both i'm pretty sure i even have a scratch on me like if i remember back correctly and i was just like so spooked out and now i look at what i do i got long nails on like i turned into what freaked me out <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, crystals, <laughs> long nails. I don't identify as a witch. I'm literally just a freaking human. <laughs> I'm like, I'm an earth angel. That's a little bit witchy, let's be real. <laughs> but I was just the other day, I was like, that's so weird. Like, I never imagined I would wear long nails. I love them. It gives me such joy. You know, I love it. Um, but I just, yeah, I just spoke to my sister. I'm like, isn't that so weird? Like, you know. Maybe that was me. Maybe that was me visiting my myself being like, child. <laughs> like, <laughs> no, I don't think so. I don't think so. But yeah, man, life is weird. Life's a trip. But we are so blessed. You know? Aquarius especially is so blessed. To be in the age of Aquarius. Oh my gosh. There's just like happiness that surrounds Aquarius. Because it's like... You made it through, not every Aquarius did. Like, it was so dense there for Aquarius. It was so, such a dense reality. And it, it just felt like Aquarius was like constantly like reaching through the veil, right? Like, or trying to like share insight. And it was just, it was a lot for Aquarius. So I'm just so grateful for you, Aquarius, and your patience. Yeah, it's your patience, darlings. 
naturally. Let's draw you an angel card because an angel is what and who you are. Omega, oh yeah, let's not forget you are a unicorn as well. Victory, your desire is coming to fruition. Keep up the good work. What is your desire? Dream, what is that light vision? Imagine that utopia world. Allow yourself to imagine the utopia world, all right? Victory, let's draw one more. So you've got the unicorns with you. You've also got Brigitte. It says caution is warranted. Look deeper into this situation before proceeding. This is really that mindfulness. I sort of get the sense that it's so important to just focus on that light because there's such this really tense duality happening right now. But, you know, be super mindful about what's in front of you. You know, like staying grounded while really focusing on that light of change. And Grace and Antoinette. To help heal this situation, see the other person's point of view with compassion. And that's really, you know, the aim of transmuting these energies is focus on forgiveness, compassion, understanding, joy, transmute it with love, transmute it with laughter, you know. Well, I feel like we could just have a cuppa and hang out all day, Aquarius. I'm going to draw you from the Crystal Visions card, sweethearts. Know that you are worth it. That's what I'm hearing. Know that you are worth it. 100%. Victory is yours, okay? It's triple confirmation of a celebration because victory, victory, victory is yours. Third eye activation seeing that utopia vision you're going to be seeing such clarity we saw it with the ace of swords which is also about third eye activation what you see becomes so what you create is all grounded in peace love truth integrity third eye activation victory is yours happiness is yours joy is yours <sighs> i love it is that it I think so. Let's draw you one butterfly card. For Aquarius. Seeking and finding, you will find the answers. And take the next step now. Oh, yeah. Healing from the past by focusing on the light and joy. So, you know, be gentle with yourself. Take, take the next step now. Volunteer volunteer to is such a great way to transmute energy as well it really is to help others such a gift yeah hey gracie hey gracie rabbit you guys have met gracie right hey gracie you want to see aquarius again <laughs> she's just looking at me she's a white rabbit she's not gonna she's what are you doing it's just chilling. All right, sweethearts. I love you guys so much. Oh, by the way, I don't know why. I'm just like, I want to chat to you all day. I got, you know, the nails right, like the stick on nails. Next time, Aquarius, I'm going to have fangs. I'm not even kidding. It's, I'm going to bring out some vamp energy. I'm going to have fangs because I saw it on TikTok. A girl uses denture glue and these nails and it's, it's vampire energy. So just you wait, Aquarius. <laughs> Gracie, come here. She's so cute. Gracie, I want to see if I can. I want to see if I can show her. Do you guys? You are just so cute. How? No. No, she fell. She she ran away. She ran behind Ruby's house as soon as I went over there. So that's okay. All right, darlings, we could hang out all day, but just know that you are surrounded by angels. Lots of love, Aquarius, and ciao for now. Bless, bless, bless. Takes one to know one. You are the angel, sweetheart. Blessings.